Much more so than in earlier times, we can see the effects of how humans behave, what we do. Many of us are aware of how we are having an impact on our global climate and how that is having an impact on a variety of different species. So I think we have an awareness now, but it's in many ways an incomplete awareness. And I think people really are curious about how our lives influence, either directly or indirectly, the lives of non-human animals. I'm Connie Johnston. I am a lecturer at DePaul University in the Department of Geography, and I am co-author, co-editor of Humans and Animals, A Geography of Coexistence. My co-author, co-editor, Julia Urbanik, we agreed that this would be an important volume to do, and it's actually a reference guide designed as kind of like an encyclopedia, and we really try to help folks understand how our relationships are shaped in a lot of ways by where we are in both time and in space. In the book, it recognizes that there are lots of forms of coexistence, and some of those are more problematic than others. We wanted something that would kind of capture the complete interrelatedness and embeddedness that human and non-human lives have, no matter whether you think you interact with non-human animals on a daily basis or not, you, you absolutely do, and your life is affected by them in areas such as policy and laws, and if you're a meat eater, in eating them. And so we really wanted to try to indicate that we are coexisting, and sometimes that coexistence is not always positive, but it is there. The constant thread in my life has been concern for an interest in non-human animals. I think my purpose is, in whatever way I can, try to foster that line of thinking, foster that curiosity, foster the opening of the mind to not just thinking about human life and wanting other people to recognize how much we share with these other beings.